And you know what? What a time to be alive. Man, that sounds familiar. Who made that? Oh, Drake. Drake, right? (laughs) So we got Drake's album. Drake, honestly, never mind, man. So what y'all think about that album, man? Okay. She dropped out of nowhere. Want to go first? Want to go first? You. You. That's fine, because, you know, I'm I'm his number one fan. I'm cool cool with that. Um, I'm going to say what everybody said in the beginning. It was a weird take. Honestly, I think we was all happy to get a surprise album. Like I said, I mean, everybody else, every other project lately has been kind of mid for the most part. So getting a surprise album, it was like, ooh, shit, album cover, even the trackless cover, like, ooh, fuck, we might get that heat. Now, Mm -hmm. when you started, I don't know, the first three tracks, like everybody else, we was very confused. But it's an album that grows with you. Honestly and truly, I think like from this from Texco, Texco Green, that beat pattern, like it's just on, bro. It's like a whole different experience, musical experience. And honestly and truly, I like albums that really want to take me on a journey. Granted, mm-hmm. I'm not. It's like an album you shouldn't even be expecting that much because he never told y'all I'm trying to rap. He just he he wanted to release music, and I think with his new deal, and his new situation, I think that shit he got more musical freedom than he ever did. So him dropping a dance product, I don't see the negative in that. I think people are gotta be a lot more open-minded because I understand the conversation of house music and this and that, but it really shows that a lot of y'all niggas don't even, don't even expand your musical palette. Like I had a whole argument in my job with, with, with a bitch about this same situation. And granted, it's like, I understand your opinion, I understand you don't like it, I get all that, but it's the fact that you're not even opening your ideas to this shit. Cause bro, like this shit is like real deal fire. Like bro, like Tesco green, sticky. Like what, what, what's like what's like fall back or fall it, bro? Like you can't sit here and tell me them shit just don't don't go fire. I'm waiting to be out some fucking where and I hear them shit go off somewhere. Like I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn the fuck up. I don't care where I'm at. I don't care where I'm at, bro. That shit like bro, it's hard. And I just I think that I appreciate him expanding his palate. Like shit, at some point he was gonna do it. I don't care like if it was now or later on, he was not gonna give us a rap album anymore. He was gonna give us something different. We've been asking for a pure R and B album, and then shit, you know, I'm gonna say you say you got something like that here. I, I just don't like how y'all flamed him up for like two days, three days straight. And then his thing, his one part I don't like. Beyonce re- released a dance song. <laughs> last night or shit like that but y'all yeah but, but, y'all, but y'all niggas on us are sucking up beyonce so damn hard but, but then y'all y'all went to say they for drake though and if anything drake whole damn album was better than that damn one beyonce song but we, we know where the pandering comes at though <laughs> like like i said like y'all really y'all need y'all need got a lot of shit to say to drake but that nigga did has the most selling dance album probably of all time but hey we, we, we ain't gonna speak on that though like Mm. I'm just saying, like, it's just hard. I don't care what anybody say. It's hard for you to sit here and tell me that you didn't find nothing on that. I don't. And then, shit, that might be a top five in his in his discography. Damn. Uh, and that's just my opinion. Because, like, bro, bro, he went. Well, no, slow no, your roll there now. I don't give a fuck what you say. No, <laughs> no, no. Slow your roll no, there, fair. Buckaroo. Fair. No, I don't care. Fair. Bro, he, bro, y'all wanted this nigga to get experimental. He did that. I don't see what the problem is. Mm. Like, Thank like God, I don't bro. see what the problem is. Y- y'all what you y'all think asked for it and you got it. Man, go ahead, bro. No. <laughs> go ahead. All right, but, be honest, but be honest, like, don't, don't, be, don't be here capping the shit. First listen. <laughs> First listen? I love that yeah. shit. Ooh. I ain't even going live, bro. Ooh. Because <clears throat> Dra- you a music he, listener. You would he, like he was, he was reaching. He was reaching on a couple of them notes, though. On a couple of them. It was like, hey, hey yo. <laughs> Pushing the limits of that auto tune, my boy. <laughs> I, I can say that first. Listen, I, was, I was like, "Hey, oh, oh, oh that shit sound a little, a little crazy, man." Um, but I bro, mean, he ain't a singer, bro. Man, he is. Boy. He tried to. He was, trying, he was trying. He was trying to stretch it a little bit. He was trying though. He no, no, no. He really do be stretching it. He be pushing it. But I can say that <laughs> intro to fall back. That transition was terrible. Mm. <laughs> yo, it had no flow into it. It just kind of you know, you know, the album started weird though. Yo, it just kind of dropped you into falling back. Weird. And it's cool. Um, I think I'm kind of over falling back now <laughs> after like my multiple listens of it. Um, mm. but yeah, I think I, the point that made me realize I really like this project was watching the music video for Falling Back. Yeah. And then seeing being able to visualize more the setting of the project it's like yeah the wedding thing was cool but then when that transition into uh calling my name 
and it was like a whole dance in the club. And it, it was yes, like, bro. It just I felt yes, that, bro. bro. I was like, oh, this that project right now. This is bro. It, it's good, gonna be so man. hard, bro. If you hear this somewhere, bro. Like if you hear this out, you be jamming this shit. I'm sorry, bro. Man, calling my calling my name Sticky and Massive in a row right now. I got them in concentration. Mm. Let's do it there. Uh, it is hard, man. Um, I don't actually like downhill. Uh, as a song, I'm not really a big fan of it. I don't like I don't like down here either. But um, yeah. Jimmy Cooks, bro, him and tw- bro, Drake got this thing, man, that, that I just like. He got like two, three artists that as soon as he get on track of them, it's like, hey, man, you ready to make another radio hit for real, real quick, man? It's him and Twenty One, <laughs> him and Future, and uh, I feel like there's one more person that I'm not thinking of right now. Uh, can't even think about it. But whoever it is, whatever it is. I just enjoyed this shit, man. Let's be kind of listening to it just to listen to it. Like, cause it, it has the two, it has like two modes. You really could be just sitting there listening to it. Or you can just have it playing in the background. Mm. But it's but it's great, but it's good music nonetheless, though. I feel like y'all gotta explain to how to actually enjoy the shit. Like it's not it's not terrible. And I had a dude oh, tell me this Drake project is a two-pack of ass, and <laughs> Logic's project is 10 times better than this. Yeah, I'm not he was like, I'd rather, logic, I rather I, I listened to that logic before I listened to that Drake again. I was like, oh God. Whoever said that, bro, even, please stop. I even, I even touched the logic, bro. I, I please wasn't stop, going bro. <laughs> not, oh, you, man. not you vouching for logic. <laughs> I'm like, stop, bro. Logic dropping a 30 track album in 2022, bro. This, this mm-hmm. ain't it no more, man. You retired and came back. I, uh, like, I'm not going Don't to Don't set this bro. rant. Go ahead, Ben, man. Um, how do I feel about it? Let me just say this, man. I'm already like acquainted with dance music, so mm-hmm. this wasn't anything out of the ordinary for me. I knew he was eventually gonna make a different type of album that wasn't gonna have any rap to it. Um, starting it off, it was cool, but for me, it just feels like one long ass song. Now, there are moments that are like really dope where I'm like, yeah, this is a vibe, but this album is very like situational like you can only play this when you out in the club bro like that's the only way i can see this just like really sounding good but other than that i feel like you can't really play that shit nowhere man this is the album for the summer nights bro you you in a club you You gotta be in the club club, though not even in like yo drive at night nah i don't want to play that while i'm driving home bro i i'll play that i'll play if i'm drunk driving home (laughs) a summer, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Drunk driving home, damn. I just, like, I've heard lie. better dance lie. music, bro. Home. I've heard better dance music than that. So it's not but like he's he was doing anything. Though. I think that's the part people And I give him credit for that. Like, I'm, I'm proud that he's, you know, switching it up a little bit. I give him some credit for that. But execution-wise, it's not all that. He could have came a little harder. I feel like he made this album in probably a month. I can yeah. hear it. The lyrics is, yeah, you know, everything was just like real regular. Nothing really stood out. Like y'all saying, oh, I like it. It's hard because y'all like the vibe, but he could have, you know, he could have did a little bit more. He could have gave us some He could have did more, but I he think he gave was us trying some features. something. I think he was trying something. I think he was just I trying something. I think these are some Lucy's. I think these are some Lucy's I, that I he had and he Lucy's. said, I'm going to send this out to the people. He made that. I think he seriously put that together. Nah, I doubt it. Nah, bro. This is, this is play. Type stuff, bro. This is something like more life level. Uh, okay, I'm gonna throw these little packs together, and I'm okay with that. But I respect it for what it is, and because because nobody you know was why? expecting. I'm glad you said more life because it reminds me of passion fruit. It's like no, oh no, bro, passion it's, fruit it's, in the album. It's form. passion fruit and um, it's passion fruit and uh, feel no ways, bro. Like, hmm. That's how that's how I felt it, like. He, he was like, yeah, people like that passion fruit and people like that uh, feel no ways. I think I should try to make something in that realm. Yeah. Uh, and, I, and I like it, man. Yeah. If, no, if I, I don't mean, know, my massive is hard. Home. No, massive is like. Massive is hard. That shit. I love that shit. You know, it's the beat changes in how he just kind of rolls with it. It's like, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. But sticky. But the thing about sticky that I like. Sticky, sticky go crazy. Mm-hmm. It's just, it's just the way, it's the braggadocious feel. It's and the like cadence. It's the way he said um, it. Like it's hard. It's like the, the the beginning part where he also like kind of speaks another language a little. He was like, "Oh shoot, what did he just say?" Yeah, kind of hard. I was like, "Oh yeah, he, he yeah. talking." 
He's it's a vibe there. though, man. This album is a vibe. Um, <laughs> I'm glad he added this to his collection because it's definitely something we'll look back on and say, you know what, he really did switch it up on this album. Mm-hmm. So I'm glad lot, he did. A lot this. of rappers can't do this though. So, and then think about it for all the albums we got for all the projects we got this year it's kind of like you know what i'm saying for y'all the real deal be going crazy we ain't gonna talk about how this how somewhat disappointing kid project was or how mid cold project was but but like you know what i'm saying everybody did some mid everybody did some mid and that's okay that's okay like damn drake got experimental and your other two and that top two got mid so it's kind of like is hey, it mid? Is it i right wouldn't now? say it's mid i wouldn't even say that i wouldn't say this album is mid no, I'm, I'm, I'm not talking about this. I'm saying you compare this oh. album to what the off season and fucking Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers is kind of like, bro. Shit, this a lot of people are saying this is his worst. This is his worst album right here. I know, and I think that's unfair. Yo, people, I think that's unfair. People hmm. gonna say that for a while, and, and it's gonna, it's just gonna have to be that way, right? Then mm-hmm. they are gonna come back around, and we are gonna be like, damn, this project really was good. Oh yeah, this, this is a straight. It's gonna vibe, be the same man. situation with views because people people thought views was this worst shit, which is crazy to me because views is crazy. You everything you needed, bro. Everything, everything you, you needed. Everything. everything you yeah, you, Damn, you bro. But yeah, man. Um, on a scale one to ten, what do I give this, bro? I give it an eight. Like eight for him for this project. Um, like I like it a little bit more than CLB. Not even gonna lie. Um, really? Just, yeah, man. I don't I know. Hell no. I really no. Just, like the way I'm listening to <laughs> oh, it. I didn't no. like CLB from the start. Like I really didn't. Oh, but, like, uh, it no. Was cool. It tripping. was cool. Listen, no, he's let, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let, let's talk about that. Previously, I got a debate that CLB. CLB had his most had his most memorable songs to me. I feel like CLB had his most digestible songs. I feel like. Bro, I don't know why people hate on CLB when CLB, CLB has a lot. Hard, like, I listen man. to more CLB songs. Cool. Than, you know, yeah, bro, it's going to be the same like, shit. They're going to do the same shit, just like how they did the views. <laughs> They're doing that shit to CLB, bro. Y'all going to look back like, at CLB, CLB was like, good, CLB, CLB, bro. I'm telling you, CLB, CLB is like, CLB is hard, is, bro. Bro, CLB is like top, bro. top, like, top five like, like, in the like bro. Start, so it was like, with this but one. why? Bro, it gave you everything. What song you did like? Bro, what song you did like? I gotta think yeah, what's the track like? I gotta look at the yeah, track list. It ain't a song. I'm just saying, bro. Like, CLB wasn't good, bro. There are songs that I don't like on that thing, man. Bro, I like no, even songs CLB almost like you tripping. You could just let that shit play, bro. I'm saying It'd CLB be is rise, bro. You tripping, bro? Like I can't say nothing bad about it. You tripping? Oh, I, yeah. I don't like in the Bible. And I don't like. Uh, I'm fucking lying, bro. Uh, in the Bible, crazy. I, I just You're don't. Lying. Like, I think lying I don't like that. dirt. I think because I don't like dirt, bro. Because he don't say nothing with the song hard though. He added to the song, bro. Like, bro, you ever play in the Bible in the car? Turn yeah, I up. don't. I skip it every time. What? I skip oh in the God, Bible and I skip. Uh, oh love God, it is. I was about to say that, <laughs> bro, 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 bro. You skipping love all is crazy as fuck. I'm sorry. I don't like. I don't like that song, bro. Jay Z comes in there and gives me what? nothing that I need. I, I, you're not listening, bro. You're not listening, bro. <laughs> you're not even. You're not even explaining what Jay Z say, man. Getting violent. I don't care, Jay. I don't. You ain't hear the yeah, um, the word play though. That nigga said he wonder why we ain't friends, yeah. nigga. Come on, yeah, man, bro. Jay, you ain't here, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and yeah, I don't. Yeah. And I don't listen to um. Uh, I miss you too. Uh, what? Cool. That's crazy. You tripping? I actually don't listen to that crap. I don't like to hear King Cuddy on the song. So it's mm-hmm. amazing. Wow. No, let's do it, bro. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you one question. Did you watch the the, the, the um the free Larry Hoover shit, bro? Yeah, you know, I know you did, right, bro? When he played, I miss you too at the free level, bro. That shit was so fucking hard, bro. Oh my god, bro, I felt like corny. Oh, it was like, heavenly. Okay. Damn. Bro, that shit was, bro. It's the point. I was Cuddy over there. You tripping? That shit go hard. Oh, okay. okay, I couldn't remember this song for a second. Yeah, like I really don't know. Like the bottom half of uh, of CLB, I don't even remember, bro. Damn. And, like, the first couple bro. times, like I literally skip over like every one of them. Damn, bro. Bro, you, bro you, I don't know about you. You questionable now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, this new shit. CLB go hard front and back. This shit really bad. CLB go hard front and back, bro. I'm sorry, you tripping. But yeah, what you rating this project though, Marlon? I'm gonna give it an eight. It's fair to get it's, it's fair assessment to give it an eight just off the like the first couple of listens. Granted, I did listen to this shit a lot. 
since it came out. Mm-hmm. But uh, eight is a fair assessment. It's not his best, but it's definitely not his worst. Okay. I'm going to give it a six. Six out of ten. Man, why a six? That's a hella low. It's all right. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> you just you know he ain't got too many bangers on this shit, in my opinion. Him and 21 going crazy, boy. You sure? Yeah, because he rapping. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> crazy. Right? yeah. I can't stress that, no. I do wish there were more features, though. Yeah, he could have used a few more. Yeah, I yeah. don't. I kind of like all of this. Mm. I think. No, I, no, I'm not going to like this. A lot of his albums be full of features. A lot of his albums be full of features anyway. I, I kind of like him just having a non feature heavy project. Just...